Welcome to the 29th meeting in 2024 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We have received an apology today from Bill Kidd, MSP, and his place can I welcome Ron Mackay, MSP. I would like to remind everyone to please switch off or put to silent their mobile phones and other electronic devices. The first item of business is a declaration of interests in accordance with Section 3 of the Code of Conduct. I invite Ross McCall, MSP, to declare any interests relevant to the remit of the committee. Thank you, Convener. I have no uh, relevant interests in this. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, I welcome Ros uh, to the committee. I look forward to working with you. Before we move on to the next item of the agenda, I'd like to uh, take this opportunity on behalf of the committee to thank Tim Eagle, MSP, for all his hard work and valuable contribution uh, to the committee. I think, like Ros, uh, Tim was a fairly new member uh, to the Scottish Parliament. Uh, but I think it's fair to say that Tim recognised the importance uh, of the work of the committee and worked diligently as a committee member. So I think, and on behalf of us, all the committee, I'd like to wish him all the best for the future. The second item of business is to decide whether to take items 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? And our agenda item number three, the committee is considering instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the draft budget, Scotland Act 2024, Amendment Regulations 2024 and the draft Greenhouse Gas Emissions Trading Scheme, Amendment Number 2 Order 2024. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. In relation to the draft Greenhouse Gas Emissions Trading Scheme, Amendment Number 2 Order 2024, does the committee wish to note that the original draft of this instrument was withdrawn and the present version relayed to correct an error following a question raised by the committee with the Scottish Government. Yes. Okay. And our agenda item number four, we're considering instruments subject to the negative procedure. An issue has been raised on one of the instruments. <clears throat> In relation to SSI 2024-281, the Registration of Births, Deaths and Marriages Scotland Act 1965, Prohibition on Disposal of a Body Without Authorisation, Amendment Regulations 2024. This instrument changes which certificates are required before a funeral, burial or cremation can lawfully take place in Scotland of a person who died in England, Wales or Northern Ireland. Under Section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010, instruments subject to the negative procedure must be laid at least 28 days before they come into force, not counting recess periods of more than four days. The instrument breaches this requirement as it was laid on the 15th of October 2024 and came into force on the 16th of October 2024. In correspondence with the presiding officer, the Scottish Government stated that the speech had occurred in order to resolve the issue that some families have been unable to arrange burial or cremation in Scotland where a loved one has died elsewhere in the UK due to the required certificate not being available until a coroner's investigation is complete, notwithstanding that the coroner is content to release the body. In one known case, this is expected to take at least a year. As such, the Scottish Government <coughs> considers that it is necessary and reasonable to breach the 28-day rule to ensure that the amendments are made immediately uh, to avoid prolonging the distress of grieving families. Does the committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament under reporting ground J for failure to comply with the laying requirements? <coughs> and is the committee content with the reasons provided by the Scottish Government for its failure to comply with the laying requirements. Yes. Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSIs 2024, 270, 271, 273 and SI 989. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. Um, under agenda item number five, we're considering an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI 2024-275. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. Thank you. And that now concludes the public part of the meeting. I'm going to move the committee into private. Thank you.